Time now for the morning rush. We start with Chris Gilson. Next big weather maker today is going to be a storm system tracking to our north, but it's really going to crank up the winds. We're going to be staying on the warm side of the storm system. Could have some showers across the higher terrain. And we start with breaking news out of southern France. According to the Associated Press, French National Police say two people have been killed and about a dozen wounded in a shooting and hostage taking situation at a supermarket in southern France. A police officer is said to be one of those inside the supermarket. Now, a police union official says the suspect earlier fired six shots at police officers who were on their way back from jogging near the city of Carcassonne. And one police officer was hit in the shoulder but is non facing non life threatening injuries. And witnesses have told French media that the suspect claimed he was loyal to ISIS. On to other news here at home. This morning, police say a 12 year old girl is in critical condition after being hit by a car by an Albuquerque Middle School. APD says the girl was crossing Louisiana at Natalie Avenue near Cleveland Middle School around 5 p.m. when the driver crashed into her. Police say the driver in an SUV immediately got out of his vehicle and tried to perform CPR until officers arrived. APD has not said if the girl was a student at Cleveland or if she was coming from a nearby school carnival when she was hit. New this morning and an update to a story we have been following for you. Deputies are searching for the suspect accused of shooting a teen on Tuesday night. This morning, BCSO says the shooting is the result of road rage. The sheriff's office says it happened at about 10 p.m. at Gun Club and Kirk Lane. Deputies say they found a 15 year old with a gunshot wound. Now at last check, BCSO tells us that, that person is still on life support this morning. Again, deputies are still searching for a suspect in the case. If you know anything, you are asked to call detectives at 505 967 5615. On to new news this morning. BCSO says they're investigating a possible murder suicide in Cedar Crest. This after two bodies are found in a home. According to the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to the home on Highway 14 and Penny Lane around 5 p.m. Deputies say they found a man and a woman dead. BCSO says they're not looking for a suspect at this time. No word as to who called deputies to the home. In other overnight news, police are searching for a suspect after a shooting in northwest Albuquerque sends a victim to the hospital. Now, police say it happened late last night near Paseo del Norte and Rainbow. At last check, the victim is said to be stable. We checked early this morning and the scene is all clear. On to new news this morning, Mayor Tim Keller releasing a statement on the recent violence in Albuquerque. The mayor says he is disheartened by the recent spike in violence. He then points to changes being made at APD, including restructuring the police department. The mayor says right now there are nine homicide detectives. He says his administration is planning on adding two more. Happening today, CNM will soon cut the ribbon on a new statewide line worker electric power training facility. The training facility in Rio Rancho will train apprentices to become electrical line workers. Officials, officials say it will provide apprentices hands on training to prepare them to handle things like maintenance and repairs to electrical lines. The ribbon cutting is at 9 a.m. this morning. On to news, new at 6, Steve Wynn is cutting his stake with Wynn Resorts. The former CEO is selling about 4 million shares in the casino and hotel company. He will become its third biggest shareholder. Wynn resigned last month after he was accused of sexual misconduct. He denies any wrongdoing. Thousands are preparing to attend the March for Our Lives across the country tomorrow. The same goes here in Albuquerque. There's also a march planned in the Duke City. And this is according to the March for Our Lives Facebook page. Hundreds say they will be in attendance here. The march begins in Old Town and will end at Tigway Park, where there will be a rally. That march begins at 10, 10 a.m. Chris? Metro threat index today all the way up to an eight because we're going to have strong gusty winds gusting around 40 miles per hour plus a red flag warning high fire danger today so you don't want to do any outdoor burning. New this morning, a New Mexico City is hoping to boost the health of its residents with the creation of a new collaborative. Santa Fe City Councilors are introducing a resolution to create a community walking program. It's called Vamonos Santa Fe Walks. A recent community health assessment found 54% of surveyed adults in Santa Fe County were obese or overweight. The idea is for this collaborative to create and market new programs and events to get the community more active. More on who is partnering with the city on the new initiative coming up in the Five Facts. David. Train enthusiasts, listen up. Today, the annual Backyard Garden Train Show kicks off at the ABQ Biopark. Biopark officials say this event shows how miniature trains can bring gardens to life. New Mexico Garden Railroaders Club members will demonstrate how miniature trains can be integrated into backyards. The show runs during regular hours until Sunday. 
On to news, new at 6, if you're losing friends on Facebook, it may not be your fault. The Associated Press reports people are unfriending the social media platform amid security concerns connected to Cambridge Analytica, that political consulting firm accused of mining the data of 50 million Facebook users. A USA Today report indicates many are turning to Instagram as their primary social media network. Keep in mind, though, Facebook did buy Instagram back in 2012. Now, before we move on to the five facts, some quick breaking news to get to right now. According to the Estancia Public Schools website, there is an unverified threat at the, against the school today, so there will be no school today. Staff and students are not required to report. They uh, say that safety is their top priority and they appreciate their patience. This evening's track meet will continue as planned. Again, this is according to the Estancia's uh, school website. We're trying to get this confirmed. We'll have more details on this for you later on throughout the day. All right, check out this dinosaur on fire. There are plans to replace the T-Rex before summer after an electrical fire destroyed this giant T-Rex in Colorado. The model was on display at the Royal Gorge Dinosaur Experience in Canyon City. There was no other damage to the park. The owner says it was a big loss, but business will go on as usual. Such a loss. Huge yeah. loss. All right, time for the King five Kong facts. About that. <laughs> <laughs> time for the five facts this morning. Start with number five here. A dog turned over to animal control by deputies is ready to be adopted out this morning. This is three years later, though. Mabel was taken to animal control after her owner was arrested. Deputies say she should have been released back in 2015, but her paperwork got lost. On Wednesday, employees at the facility in Roswell found her release papers and were able to take her to a shelter. Still unclear just how the paperwork got lost in the first place. At number four, Santa Fe City Councilors are hoping to boost the health of residents by creating a community walking program. It's called Vamanos Santa Fe Walks. It's a partnership between the city, including Parks and Rec, the, the New Mexico Department of Health, the National Park Service, and several local health clinics. Now, the idea is to target those in the community that are uninsured or underserved and those with chronic conditions to improve their overall health. The resolution is scheduled to go before the city council next week. On to number three right now. The UNM Board of Regents is postponing their decision over whether to cut student fee funding for the athletics department, which is in debt. However, they did agree to raise tuition rates. The regents approved a 2.5% tuition hike, along with a more than 2% increase in fees. The cost for graduate credit hour is also going up by $7. Wind and fire danger today. It's going to be a warm one out there still. Temperatures into the 70s, but a lot of wind across the state. And at number one, we have the latest on the spending package as it narrowly passes the U.S. Senate, avoiding yet another government shutdown. Now, the $1.3 trillion package includes raising military and domestic spending, fixing criminal background checks for gun purchases, and money to fix the opioid crisis. Now, one major item not addressed is the DACA program. The bill met with criticism from both sides of the aisle, most saying that they had busted budget caps and some saying that they were voting on a bill that they did not have time to read. Again, recapping, Estancia Public Schools, there will be no school today due to a threat. This is according to the, the district's website. For more details, go to our website. That's krqe.com.